Planning to buy or sell a home? Now, Angela Kelly is trying to find out what you should know before you do either, and she joins us live with a local real estate agent in Green Bay. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Pete and Rachel. Well, if there are um, a lot of buyers uh, checking out the market right now, it may be a good idea to uh, list your home, sell your home right now. But before you sell, uh, you might want to consider a few things. And Paul Kitzlar from Kitzlar Real Estate in Swamico is with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's start um, with uh, point number one. Uh, just like a buyer should, a seller should hire an agent as well. Correct. A good listing agent will not only help you determine the correct price for your home, but also help you give you some ideas uh, to get your home ready for sale so it can be perceived uh, in its highest possible uh, light by buyers. Okay, so getting it ready for sale might mean making necessary improvements to the home. Um, we are inside a home um, that is currently on the market here in the Green Bay area, and there's a, a few examples we can point out of, of ways to make improvements. Sure, and we're standing in a room that would be a pretty easy fix. So uh, we've got some paint uh, that could be updated, some wallpaper removed, that type of thing. Uh, these are relatively minor uh, fixes and low-cost fixes. Uh, so a seller can look at this, and if they want to make those improvements, uh, their home will show a little bit better. But then a buyer could also look at it as an advantage, uh, as an opportunity. Uh, these are easy fixes uh, to make, and they can customize it to, to their own taste. Okay, let's take a walk down the hallway. There's a few other examples of uh, tips to make your home more marketable, uh, make them more attractive. Uh, as we take a walk down the hallway here, uh, how is the housing market? There's a pretty good selection in the Green Bay area, at least. There's a great selection in the Green Bay area right now. We're seeing a lot of uh, homes in all price categories, so there's a home out there for everyone. Okay, uh, let's get back to the necessary improvements, uh, blinds, natural light. That type of thing. Uh, we want to just make sure that, uh, that the blinds are open uh, in all of the rooms and so forth. Let all the natural light in. Make sure that your rooms look nice and bright so when buyers come into them, uh, they can see what they have here. And uh, kind of eliminate the clutter as well. Exactly. This is kind of a good uh, example here. The kitchen, you can see nothing on the countertops. Uh, the living room and so forth has been staged with a few pieces of furniture. Uh, all of the personal items have been removed, uh, pictures taken off the wall, that type of thing. So uh, buyers can take a look at a room like this and perceive their own uh, items in it rather than just looking at somebody else's furnishings. Okay, and finally if you are selling a home, uh, start looking for your next home now because of those tax credit deadlines approaching. Exactly. We've got a little bit less than 90 days to get offers in on these homes, and uh, you don't want to wait too long. You want to start looking for your next home now. I always encourage people to try to get a top four or five list of homes that they would like to purchase. So when you do receive the offer on your current home, you know where you're going. Uh, and you've eliminated that process. Okay, thank you. And uh, coming up next, uh, are you confused by the whole tax credit thing, how it works, uh, how you're eligible? We're going to try and clear that up for you uh, in our next segment around 8.15. Back to you guys. Okay, thanks, Angie.